Hi, welcome to Hard Reset Info and I'm going to show you how to change Wi-Fi on your Epson ET18 and 10 printer. Okay, the first thing we should do is to uh, check our IP address. To do that, you should uh, press and hold this button until uh, you will print the network information page. On the network information page, it, the, on the first network information page, you will see this screen and you will find TCP IP and here you will see your IP address, obtain IP address. It's your IP address, just uh, enter this IP address on your web browser, in the Chrome or something else web browser. Um, and then you should uh, log in as administrator, right? Uh, you click. You should click login as admin and enter your serial number. Where can you find uh, the uh, serial number? Serial number you can find here. As you can see, it's right here. Uh, here you see uh, your serial number. You have here, um, for example, as you can see. Can I show you? It's uh, this pointer. No. So here we have uh, asterisk and aster uh, asterisk in the very beginning and asterisk on the uh, end of the serial number. But between these asterisk is your serial number without asterisk. Okay. So uh, don't forget about um, big letters. Right as big letters, it matters in case of Epson. So enter this uh, serial number and uh, then you will have unlocked all features in admin panel then click advanced settings and here in advanced settings you will see uh, network settings and click wi-fi here you will see um, information about your wi-fi network your printer is connected right now but here you should click setup, wait a while. And here you will see all available uh, Wi Fi networks. Okay, so for example, now I'm connected to uh, S29 matrix, and in this case, of course, it's the only. Uh, why uh, it's only one way to connect our device to the network and very very important that this printer uh, can't see uh, 5 gigahertz network okay it's only c 2.4 gigahertz networks so if you have new router that supports only 5g uh, so unfortunately um, it will not be visible on this list uh, but many good new routers supports 2.4G and 5G uh, at the same time, okay? So for example, now I will share portable hotspot uh, using my uh, iPhone. Now I can show you. Uh, this is the portable network, mine, and uh, it will be iPhone David with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Uh, password. So let's try to uh, refresh SSID list. So just click refresh, wait a while. And now here we go. As you can see, here is the um, iPhone David. And now click the password line and enter here the password from the Wi-Fi network in my case it's from 1 to 8 and confirm the same password okay then click next okay and wait a while now uh, we will see on my iPhone uh, here on the left top corner that someone is connected to, to, to my smartphone so just wait a while, wait for it. Okay, as you can see, printer was connected. The green uh, icon shows the status that um, someone connected to my to my device. And 
this sound one is my printer. So what about my computer right now? So my printer still has the same uh, IP address, but uh, now I should reload this uh, web page just to reconnect my printer. I hope my printer has the same IP address. Oh no, it it has the same IP address, but now I can't connect to my printer just because it's not in my local uh, network, right? Just because I uh, sharing internet, so I'm sharing not the internet but Wi-Fi uh, from my iPhone, and if my computer will be connected to the same Wi-Fi as my printer, so I will see it. Um, I will see this printer, but if my computer connected to the one network but printer to the other one to my phone for example so i will uh, not see uh, my printer in available devices so that's it guys um, now you know uh, how to change wi-fi on epson et18 and 10 thanks for watching and bye see you